Hey everybody, welcome back to the printer space. As you can see, it's kind of empty right now. I wanted to make a quick video about why I decided to get rid of all but one of my old 3D printers. I guess first and foremost, they were taking up a lot of space and I never really intended to have a 3D printing business, nor did I want to have a print farm or anything of that nature. I found myself only using one or two of my printers and the rest just sat idle, not being used. So I determined that the extra workbench space was more valuable to me than having a bunch of printers lying around unused. Second of all, since the printers that I got were mainly used for review purposes only, I ended up receiving a large variety of brands and models, each one coming with its own set of nuances and quirks and things that I had to be familiar with every time I wanted to use one to print. So I figured it would be better to just stick with one model, one brand, and become 100% familiar with that one so I could have a pretty high success rate whenever I did want to use it for printing. There is one more reason that I got rid of my printers that I will explain a little bit later in this video right at the very end. But first, let's talk about the printer that I did that I did um, decide to keep. So this is the Soval SV01. This was actually the very first printer that I ever bought. And in my opinion, it is still by far the best and most reliable printer I've had um, all of these years that I've been doing 3D printing. Now that may just be due to a familiarity that I have with the product, but whenever I needed a printer to just do its job reliably, I would go to my Soval SV01. Now this is not a stock unit. I've upgraded many things on it. I've put in a silent stepper board on it. I've put auto bed leveling on it. It's currently connected to Octoprint. I was running Clipper on it for a while, but that kind of speaks to the versatility of this machine and I can do all those things to it and still get it to reliably print day in and day out. Now the main reason that I ended up selling off most of my printers is right here next to me off camera. So I ended up jumping on the bamboo bandwagon. First off, I wanted to see firsthand what it was capable of compared to what everybody was saying online. But also, I was very intrigued by their AMS color changing system, and I do have to say that that is a significant game changer for anybody who's interested in doing any type of multicolor printing. Um, Bamboo really has made it uh, very simple and easy to jump in without a whole lot of experience. Uh, this is not going to turn into a review. If you want a review of the Bamboo P1S with AMS color changing, there's literally thousands of reviews out on YouTube. Um, and I'm just getting started. I've just done a couple of little modifications, just add-ons basically. But um, so far, I'm pretty satisfied with it. And so, as of right now, I have two printers. I have my old bed slinger that I use for larger single color prints. And now I have the Bamboo Lab P1S that I would like to use for multicolored prints. I've already been playing around with this. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've been designing light boxes in Fusion 360 and um, I'm trying to make a bunch of gifts and things like that. So, um, like I said, the multicolor printing is so simplified and easy to use that if that's what you're interested in, this is definitely worth the cost of entry. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video about why I got rid of most of my 3D printers. Um, I just wanted to update this because uh, I may do some future 3D printing videos and it will be noticeable that most of my stable is gone and that uh, I didn't want to slip in with this new edition without addressing it first. So I have more 3D printing videos coming down the road here pretty soon. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click that subscribe button and um, I have some fun stuff coming up. So thanks everybody for watching. And my name's Tom, this is Southpaw Workshop. I'll see you soon.